okay so now coming on to the next stage <coughs> this stage is installation of the rom so you have to power on the device and go to the recovery mode okay so for going on to the recovery mode just when you see the free xperia logo keep pressing the volume down key keep pressing it until you see a blue light and you feel a vibration okay so now i'm i am in the uh, cwm that is clockwork recovery mode now here you have to go to first wipe data factory reset use volume up and down keys for scrolling and home button to select okay and back button to go back so first let's wipe factory wipe factory reset okay so go ahead and do that select yes delete all user data it will just take a few moments okay now it has wiped now we have to do wipe cache partition so go ahead and do that wipe cache partition click on wipe cache okay it's done now now go to advanced and do the wipe dalvik cache go ahead and select yes now go back now go to install zip from sd card select it choose zip from sd card oh sorry install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card and go where you uh, have put those two files of uh, pa 2.15 rom i have put them in the dev folder so i'll be going in the that in in the dev folder so go ahead at dev and in the jellybean hybrid i have put those two files so jellybean hybrid now first of all you have to install the pa 2.15 stable.zip so select it and select yes install pa 2.15 stable.zip and it will install it okay so now it has installed that file uh, please bear the time that it takes to install this file because for me it took about took about 3 uh, to 4 minutes okay so now you have to go again to choose zip from sd card go ahead and go to the folder where you have put those two files i put them in the jellybean hybrid folder now you have to flash this neo v patch file so go ahead and Uh, select this file and click on install pnov patch dot zip and this will also take some time so I'll be back when it's finished installing. Okay, so it has finished installing the second file also. So what we need to do is that we need to restart the phone now. Okay, so the first boot of uh, this device will take a while because we have installed a new ROM. So I'll be back with the first screen. Okay, so now the first screen has appeared. So it's asking me for my uh, SIM. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and cancel it. Okay, so in the first screen, it will ask you to select your launcher. I'm going to select my launcher as Apex Launcher. So I'll go ahead and select it, and now you can see I have Jelly Bean running on my device. Show you the first first screen. As you can see, it's very smooth, and I'll go ahead and show you the version of this Android. I'll go ahead and about phone. and now you can see it's cyanogen it's pair android rom and android version 4.1 so uh, basically this is uh, now running in the 
paranoid mode you can change this by going in the paranoid settings and here you can select workspace and you can turn hybrid off when you turn hybrid off you will be entering the phone mode I will be testing out this ROM so if you want to see how it performs in daily life uh, I'll be giving you a gl glimpse of this uh, let's check out the camera app okay so camera here it is camera ICS so you can see it's working uh, everything in this room is working so I don't think you won't be having any problems with this uh, after this you have to flash the G apps or you can install them from the Google Play Store I recommend you go with the Google Play Store because they are safe to install and everything else is working just fine on this ROM so if you want to get this ROM uh, get, get it as soon as you can because the links get expired too soon so thank you for watching guys and if you want to see any more ROMs flash to, to be flashed on this uh, device I will be happy to entertain those so thank you for watching guys and I hope you enjoy this video do subscribe for more